Thank you. Turning to Democracy 2020, as Democratic presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke visits striking GM workers in Westchester, not on your side anchor Evan Milward is on your side with what the candidate had to say. And Evan, I was watching your live stream on Facebook. He had a lot to say. He had a lot to say. There was a lot to talk about, Ryan. These United Auto Workers union employees are entering their second week of a strike here. You can see they've set up shop outside of this GM plant uh, in Westchester here. Former Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke spent about 45 minutes with them this morning, during which time he told them they're fighting not just for themselves. He says he believes they are fighting for all middle class Americans. The UAW is now in what is its longest strike in decades stalled with General Motors on things like health care and the use and treatment of temp workers. O'Rourke noted that his hometown of El Paso, Texas likely has no UAW workers. So this was less, he says, about a campaign visit and more about a fact finding mission to understand where thousands of UAW workers are coming from and understand their concerns. I asked him how he translates what he heard here in Westchester into a presidential platform. President, we're going to make it easier for Americans to organize. We're going to set a much higher minimum wage. We're going to ensure that health care is not something that there's any uncertainty about, not a function of luck or circumstance, but a human right upon which you can depend. Our members appreciate that. I think they appreciate that he takes the time when he's here to come to our small plant. Yeah, these workers back out here live tell me the only word they've had from inside negotiations with General Motors is that things are progressing and they're certainly further along when, than when they voted to strike last Sunday. As for Beto O'Rourke, he's continuing several stops across Ohio today. He is next headed to Dayton to meet with survivors of that mass shooting. It happened less than 24 hours after the shooting in his hometown of El Paso. And then he'll make a stop in Lordstown again. Coming up later this evening on Nine on Your Side, he talks about his struggles in the polls and the viability of his campaign and makes a call for presidential impeachment. We're live in Westchester. I'm Evan Millward, Nine on Your Side.